We are at our leadership seminar, Philosophy and Practice, here in Kloster Mühle, and uh, we are looking back at uh, three very intensive days. And I'm here with one of our participants, Malte. And um, Mal Malte, tell us a little bit about your experience of over the last three days. Yeah, thanks. It, it was extremely insightful, the seminar. Um, it was uh, shifting from, you know, execution mode in your day-to-day -day job to thinking mode, which really is something that you don't do enough during your your day-to-day -day job. So it really uh, struck me that uh, so many varieties and opinions came up. We discussed, we listened, we learned, we reflected, and then we debated. And um, that was that was um, the most I liked about the about the seminar. And the seminar is called Philosophy and Practice. What does philosophy have to do with practice? I think um, practice makes the philosophy tangible. So you can debate, of course, a lot about the, the texts we had and the, 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 um, the stories behind it. But if you really put it to practice, where you share practical experiences from your personal life, from your corporate life, from yeah, your professional life, then it becomes really tangible and then you can really exchange views and learn from each other um, how to deal with certain situations, um, how to you know improve also as a person, both personally and also professionally. So you read a lot of philosophical texts. Um, is there any text or any philosopher who stands out for you personally? Um, yeah, I would like to mention two basically. It's um, on the one side it's Machiavelli, and on the side on the, on the other side it's uh, Confucius, because um, they're they're basically the extremes, right? Um, if you want to speak about the evil, you go to um, Machiavelli, and if you want to talk about humanity, uh, you 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 go to Confucius. And um, while it's 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 um, very controversial in these days to talk about Machiavelli, still you find a lot of these of his theories in in corporate but also in political life. Unfortunately, you could say, yeah. Um, so you spent three days with a group of people who you never met before. How was that? It was an amazing experience uh, because, of course, you don't know who's going to be there. I mean, you get a little bit of um, upfront information, but really the exchange makes it um, uh, really um, uh, uh, tangible. And the exchange not only in the sessions, but also on the sidelines of, of the seminar. The conversations you have throughout the seminar um, is really what gives the seminar and a uh, real added value. So going home today, is there anything you take with you? Um, definitely. Uh, so I take with me the uh, curiosity to see um, how I will have changed maybe six months, 12 months down the road, how I incorporated the, the findings of the seminar in my personal but also professional life. And that's something I really look forward to, to um, you know, at one point uh, reflect and, and see what I really um, put into practice. And last question. What is a good leader, <laughs> a values-based leader? Yeah, t tough question, but I think a good leader is, for me, someone who enables people, who enables his, um, his team, uh, and not only uh, goes for his own fortune, but who really um, looks for out for, for others and um, uh, yeah, makes, makes the team work and not only uh, the, the, the individual work. Thank you so much, Malte, for participating our, in our seminar, and we very much hope to see you a lot in our Esten family. <laughs> thanks. Thanks to the Esten Institute for having me. Thanks.